Hey everyone, so welcome to week one of uh, 190L, the Mystifying Library Research. So I'm going to cover a few things in our little lecture today. Um, first, quick reminder, please take that short pre-class survey. Again, that's going to help me understand how comfortable you feel doing research, and it's also going to help me um, make sure we're using, um, the, make the most out of the time that we spend together. Um, today I'll introduce you to how we'll be using Wikipedia. We'll go over some of Wikipedia's rules, expectations, and etiquette, and I'll highlight a few things for you to keep in mind as we progress through the semester. And of course, you have a few tasks to do this week. Make sure you check under to do for me. Um, all right, so about the role Wikipedia plays in demystifying library research. So Wikipedia is going to play a foundational role in our class. Your assignments are going to focus on making edits in Wikipedia and then also on having um, some research to back up your edits. Um, so really, those changes are going to um, have you entering the scholarly discourse, which is honestly just a fancy way of saying you'll read through some papers, um, you're going to synthesize what you read, and then post your original take to Wikipedia. Um, don't worry, if you've never used Wikipedia before, the um, part of this class is going to have you trained on Wikipedia. We'll have multiple opportunities to learn about Wikipedia. Um, you'll be trained, and, and honestly, before this class, I haven't had much experience with Wikipedia either, so in some ways I'll be learning with you. So a little bit about Wikipedia's rules and expectations and, you know, internet etiquette. Um, Wikipedia is really built off of five pillars. Um, it's an online encyclopedia, has a neutral point of view, it is free content, um, people, Wikipedians, interact in a respectful and civil manner, um, and Wikipedia does not have firm rules. So pillar one of the five pillars, Wikipedia is an online encyclopedia. So Wikipedians, which you are a member of that community, write summaries of concepts. This isn't the place for original reporting of original research. This is summaries of concepts. Pillar two for Wikipedia is Wikipedia has a neutral point of view. So this is imperative and this is true of other encyclopedias as well. Um, Wikipedia is free of bias. And sometimes this can be really hard to do if you're really passionate about a subject. Um, uh, it can be really hard to come across in a non-biased way, but really what it boils down to is you're summarizing and reporting the facts. Um, not your thoughts and not your feelings, but the facts. Um, this is also to help make sure that Wikipedia is a place that everyone can come to their own conclusions and they have the freedom to do that. So pillar number three, Wikipedia is free content. Um, so this is critical. This has been critical to Wikipedia's success, to its adoption, and to breaking down the barriers of information access. Um, I will point out to you, um, we are extremely privileged to be in a country that doesn't censor our access to information, um, and that you're in a university that has a library with enough funding to purchase major databases um, so you have access to a lot of this information. So we take care of those fees. This is a lot, a lot of this is behind the scenes. Um, so you never see that, that these things and these transactions are happening. Um, but as the, the library takes care of that barrier for you, and we try to make it as user friendly as possible, but it can be challenging. Um, I mean, in UMass is, has even more benefits, right? Because there are even libraries um, at universities and colleges in the United States that don't have access to the information that you as a UMass student have access to. And that says nothing for folks outside of the United States that can't possibly afford the databases that we have access to. So people rely heavily a lot of times on Wikipedia to help them gain an understanding or see how research is changing um, or, or, you know, get a fundamental understanding to a particular topic or a topic that they're interested in. Um, I think there's also a second level of accessibility 
about free content that um, is a little bit beyond the scope of this class, but I will point it out because I do think I'm going to just plant that seed. I do think it's important to talk about and to recognize. So um, many of the scientific and research and academic papers that are cited in Wikipedia are locked down behind these paywalls or behind and within these databases that libraries subscribe to. So if you're not a university student's student, a lot of times you don't have access to these big databases or these big papers. Um, maybe when you're doing your own research you see sometimes that you have to pay $35 to gain access to a paper. Um, you probably don't see that as much at UMass because we pay again for access to a lot of databases but if you were again someone not affiliated with a university you might see that if you tried to access that original paper. So there's a whole other side um, of research that's happening, of publication that's happening, and that's that us, this idea of open access. So if you wanted to add an extra layer of accessibility to your um, edited Wikipedia papers, you'd try to find and cite and use papers that are openly accessible. Um, this can be really challenging. It's not adopted across the board. Um, and I'm happy to talk more about open access and increasing accessibility. Um, but again, it's, it's really just so you know that that is an option and that's something to think about. But it, it's a little bit beyond the scope of our class. So pillar four, Wikipedians should interact in a respectful and civil manner. So again, Wikipedia is a community. Um, you're going to want to treat your fellow community members with respect. Err on the side of generosity. Instead of getting angry, ask for clarity. Assume good faith. So these are all great points um, to keep in mind as you're interacting with your fellow Wikipedians. Um, I will point out this might also be a situation where you use I statements. I statements can really reduce the chance that someone's knee jerk or their instant reaction to a statement is defensive and really what kind of conversation can you have if someone's worried that they're being attacked. I'll also point out that part of what happens in updating and making changes to articles in Wikipedia happens behind the scenes on those talk pages. So this is going to be the place for discourse. And again, a huge part of this community is coming to a consensus. This is also, of course, a critical life skill, coming to consensus as well as backing up your statements um, with evidence and facts. So pillar five, Wikipedia does not have firm rules. Um, so there are no templates for Wikipedia. There's no nothing that says you have to fill out or do an article in this way. I mean, there are some expectations that you will be citing your information and backing up your statements. Um, but but really there's no templates, no, no strict order for you to follow. Um, I will say one thing that I've seen a lot is um, in your edits, be bold but don't be reckless. So feel empowered to go out there and make the changes that you think are important, the changes that you have evidence for, um, but don't be reckless about it. Don't, don't try and totally overhaul an entire article in your name. I also want to point out a few assignments that you have coming up. Um, so you're going to work on a Wikipedia article. Um, you're also going to be crafting an annotated bibliography. You're also going to um, have some form of reflective essay due for the end of class. So all three of these assignments are going to help support your understanding of library research by having you go out and try some of the things you're talking about and also reflecting on some of those things that we're talking about. Um, I would say my one suggestion for these courses is make sure you take notes. Um, take notes about your research process um, how um, and what's working, what's not working, and all of that's going to really help you prepare for the assignment at the very, do at the very end of class, which is that reflective essay. So that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, again, we do have a quick discussion topic, which um, you'll need to post on. And I'll see you all next week.